Hey guys, it's Jordan here. Just a quick little video here on this interesting link here on ZDNet. So as it shows, there's a registry hack that you can do to continue to allow updates to be provided for Windows XP through this registry hack here that somebody made to disguise Windows XP as being Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Now, if you're curious, I am not actually running Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. I'm running the full-fledged Windows XP. But the trick to this is there's a registry key that you can add that will allow, you know, it'll trick the registry and the operating system to think that you're actually running Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 so you can continue to receive security updates. And just like, you know, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009, it'll continue to receive security updates until April 9th, 2019. So I've already applied the registry, you know, hack. There it is on the desktop. So let's actually see if it pulls them in. I've already seen the little update thing here pop up in the taskbar. And it says it found seven updates. Is it true? Oh my god, look at that. POS Ready 2009. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. It actually worked. Wow. Now as you notice, there's nothing about Windows XP in these updates. There's nothing in there about these updates for Windows XP. Obviously I don't want the ding bar. That's kind of stupid. But that's incredible. I don't know how they were able to do that. I mean, how? So, I guess there you go. Um, I'm going to go get those installed, even though Microsoft is clearly not saying they're optimized for Windows XP. Actually, they even specify this in the article. They say um, they run a significant risk of functionality issues with their machines that they install these updates as they are not tested against Windows XP. Well, this is the funny thing. Microsoft is right in a way that they're not optimized for Windows XP, but the thing is, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009, or Windows Embedded in general, that runs a core of Windows XP, and Windows Server 2003, they all run off of the core of Windows XP Professional, which is essentially Windows 2000. So in that case, the updates should run as they are intended on all of those types of systems, regardless of the operating system name or not, and if they are optimized for the system or not. So I don't get where Microsoft's going with this, but I guess they are proving a point and I can see where they're going with it. So yeah, I figured to make this interesting little video today. And so in case anyone's curious, no, I'm not using Windows XP as my main OS. Um, this is just a virtual machine. Obviously, I have VMware tools down there, so yeah. If anyone needs any more proof, I'll pull up my system panel here. And uh, actually, I'm not supposed to do that, but I don't care. There's your proof. I run Windows 8, and I'm proud to run Windows 8. It runs very well. So, yes, it actually worked. So if you want to try this for yourself to see if it actually works, the link for this ZDNet article will be provided in the description. You can see if this works on your own system. Now obviously I have my own virtual machine of Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. I just installed it recently. It's kind of ridiculous to install it on VMware, but I think I'll just do a do ahead and you know just do it on my Windows Vista Business virtual machine probably because VMware seems to have an issue with it. Anyway, guys, enough of my rambling. Thanks for watching, and, well, I don't know what else to say. Uh, that's it. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching.